believe it or not, I'm walking on it. <laughs> I never thought I could be so, so free. Mm. Remember, he's not in his room, so we don't have to be quiet. Hello, and welcome to the live show. <laughs> that was like, what are we doing right now? How are you guys doing? You guys doing okay? Happy Sunday. Happy birthday, everybody. What's everybody doing this Sunday? Yeah, you guys watching... Um, oh, yeah, the the World Cup. The World Cup? Hello, it's me. Is that me. what everybody does? It's me. <laughs> I'm Matt. It makes me think of the, the Taylor Swift, the, the sound. The, hi, it's, it's me. me. <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. Um, That's what she says, oh, right? Oh, Bailey Page says, I'm making stained glass. Oh, wow. like the actual glass? I mean, that's what it said. And then somebody else said that they are, wait, go back up. Oh, sorry, I wasn't. Somebody else said, keep going. Um, Selling all my, Anna is selling all my furniture to move to Florida. Whoa. Wow, that's awesome. I hope. Uh, Who are you selling it to? <laughs> How much are you selling that desk for? <laughs> um, Savannah said, laying in bed, not feeling good. Well, we hope that oh, we no. can maybe take your mind off of it and help you feel a little bit better while we're live at least. Oh, Dominique says they're about to go for a massage. Oh, man. Or a message, one or the other. I'm jealous. <laughs> Oh, Rachel's watching. Oh, no, said, have you watched My Policeman? I haven't yet. Although I think it's on something that we have, like like Prime Video or something. Peacock or something? Yeah, which I can watch it. I just haven't yet. I don't know. Did you watch the the uh, the trailer for Guardians 3? No, I didn't. Is he in it? Yeah. He's in the trailer? I think so. Oh, no, I haven't. I got to do saw that. I saw he was all orange. Thank you, Marietta. I we like appreciate it. I do, too. Um, oh, Chris said less than five months and I'll be in Orlando. Oh, nice. less oh, than no. five months and there'll be about four of us. So, oh yeah. <laughs> Nikki said, um, watching from a very cold Omaha, I feel so bad because oh, I didn't no. realize she was just here again. She's, Nikki's the one that we yeah. saw for the fireworks. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you, you were here. I didn't realize you were here for literally like a day. 24 hour turnaround. I mean, it really was. It was so fast. She's like, I'm here and I'm back home. And I was like, oh, dang it. Back um, to Omaha, Nebraska. So I'm sorry I missed you. But um, I, it looks like you had a lot of fun. I watched your stories where you went, she got to go to the party again. Oh. The Christmas party. Yeah. I wish we could go again. I know. I was so jealous. We couldn't, the tickets were sold out by the time we, we went to go do it. I like um, this thing. Oh, thank you, Shannon. It says, thanks. <laughs> but I thought the lady was like holding a cookie. She's not. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, we are the Millers said long time watcher first time live stream. Thanks for coming. Oh, hi, Callie says Kelly. Callie. Where do you see it? Right here. I think it's Kaylee. Callie. Callie yeah. says checking into <clears throat> checking in the gluten free Sunday. No, Grand Floridian. Grand Floridian. <laughs> um, we stayed at the Grand Floridian when we stayed there just once. Right. Or what, have we stayed there twice? We've stayed there just once. Just once. Okay. But right? we, I think it was, I feel like it's been more because we've gone so much to like the restaurants, but I think we've only stayed once because wow. we stayed in that really cool suite. Right. But then I have like toured rooms. And I think maybe that's what's confusing me. Right. Um, but we loved it. It was a yeah. really great stay. Jackson, I don't know if you have kids with you, but Jackson loved the splash pad. Yes. He really, really loved it. Yes. Did oh, we? no. Deborah said, my husband has something to say about your timing during his Ravens game. So we were oh, just... Oh, is it football right now? Well, we were just at um, Target because we... So our baby moon is coming up like real soon, which is why we're doing a live show today, just to give us a little bit of like wiggle room as far as the... Um, just getting stuff done <laughs> before right. our trip. But we were at Target and there was a guy in front of us who had an iPad and he was watching... Oh, yeah. Football or he was, soccer. He was in line for Starbucks, and he's watching soccer. Yeah. So, like, people are real real serious about their sports. You ever seen that we video of that college girl who was real drunk with her mom, <laughs> and she was at, like, a football game, and mm -hmm. she didn't have any affiliation to it, and she was just cheering for sports in general? No. Wearing her sunglasses upside down, and she had, like, broccoli in her pocket, and she was, like, offering everybody broccoli? No. Pretty great. <laughs> How do they let you in with broccoli in your pocket? I don't know. It's pretty great, though. Um, thank you so much to Jabroni and also to Maggie. 
and also to Mr. Darden from the Olive Darden. Oh, the Olive Darden. Whoa. <laughs> I like that. That's my favorite. Um, also, uh, Jabroni said in a comment recently that they are graduating from college oh. with an interior design degree. Ooh. And they are looking for a job so that they can stay here in the in States. In college. Oh. Yeah. So. Where are you from? I hope you find it. Like, I think that he was from Brazil, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I could be wrong. Maybe let us know. Um, but I hope you find it. That's definitely, I feel like. I would love to work in interior design if I knew anything about it, <laughs> but right. I don't. So good luck. We really oh. are sending you positive vibes. Tegan wants to know if there are any sports that we love. So a while back, like I, I always judge time by the houses that we lived in. So like three houses ago, we the house that we lived in when we first started YouTube, we were really into curling. Oh, yeah. Because the Olympics, the Winter Olympics was on. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that's the only thing that I've ever gotten. We didn't have like sports merch. No, curling, no, 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 no. Like we wearing just, a shirt. We just watched it. Um, yeah. When I was younger, oh. I used to watch baseball all the time. Yeah. So you used to go to like the Cubs games. I used to go to the Cubs games. Yeah. Uh, I've been to boardwalk and baseball. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of spring training games. We used to go to Atlanta spring training games all the time. Yeah. And if you look through the channel, you might even be able to find a few spring training games. Yeah. If you're interested in baseball. Um, and then there was also, I liked going to the hockey games in town. Oh, yeah. Hockey was super fun. Well, and we had a really good time at the Orlando City soccer game. We went yeah. a couple of times and they were really fun. But I have more fun at the hockey games than I do at the soccer games. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. And I've been to all the basketball games. since. I've been to every sporting event in Orlando, mm -hmm. but I've not like... I don't know. I feel like I'm not, I'm just not like a sporty lady, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Sporty spice. I, I can't sit through it. It's like a lot to sit through, I feel like. <laughs> um, Jackson is currently napping, so some people are asking where he is. And then Evan had a good question. He asked, um, were you guys able to get Jackson his annual pass now that he's three? So, spoiler alert, tune in tomorrow because we talk all about it in that video. Yeah. So... But yeah, we did. We got him a pass. <laughs> so, want to um, say thank you to Beth Lightly? Ooh, somebody said, and I don't know the name went away, so I'm sorry, but they said they're renting a house, he I think here in o Orlando, but it has a pool in February. Should they heat the pool? I would say yes. In February? Oh, if you're renting the, yeah. I would yeah, say yeah, if yes. If you're renting, I, was, I thought if you were buying, I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Audra. Well, uh, that's an interesting question, though. Should I have the pool heated in? Does it not cut? Like, do you have to pay extra for that? Like, all if the pool if is heated. If you're planning on using the pool. Are they saying, like, do you want us to, like, preheat it for your arrival? I don't know. I'm just answering the question that it's going to be cold in Florida in February. So if you want to swim in the pool, heat the pool. Fun fact, that's, though. That's all that I'm saying. Right now. This is the first year in a long time that it hasn't dipped below 50 yet. But it will on Monday, right? Below 50? Oh, maybe not below 50, yeah. Right. So it's an extraordinarily warm year. Yes, yeah. Yes, pay extra for pool heating. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you, Laura. You know what? I would hold off on that if you can until closer to the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, because Airbnbs charge extra to heat the pool. Okay. So I think I would, I don't know, if it were me, though, like... Well, that's what I'm saying. Just wait until closer to the time. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I'm going to say thank you to Audra. But, like, even our pool, I already said... Did you already say yeah. I thought you said the first, this one, Laura. No, I said both. Oh, okay. Sorry. But th thanks again. <laughs> um, so wait, really quick, because we wouldn't, like, we're not going to swim in our pool in February. It's too cold. Well, yeah, but if I, if it was heated, our pool's not heated. <laughs> if it was heated... I'm saying that I would want it heated in February because it's too cold. Like, we don't swim in our pool because right. it's too cold. Right, 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 right. <laughs> That's what it's I'm too saying. cold today. Right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Um, ooh, uh, Bonafide Movement says, can you go to Rafiki's Planet Watch soon? Do the animation experience. Just did it. It was so fun. So the last time that we went, you did do that. I did it with Levi, my yeah. tattoo artist. So here's the thing that I feel like sort of hurts us with the videos, right? Because we make so many videos because we do try to do a video every single day. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always happen that way, but like for the most part, I feel like we're basically doing a video every single day. Um, that The videos get lost. So you might not remember that we did that. Right. And then I feel like we're just repeating content if we do it again, Right. you know? Mm -hmm. But you wanna have like updated experiences, I guess. Right. I don't know, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So we did do it, but it's also like, I don't know that everybody knows everything that we did. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but we did. We went to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Jackson went. He loved it. It was super cute. Um, but you also went and you did the animation experience yeah. with a, like an actual artist. With an actual artist. Yeah. I wanted to say thank you to Rory. Thank you to Amber. And thank you to Jeanette. Cute. Disney pools are heated. This is true. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Joseph said Anastasia was so happy to hear that you still have our picture. She loves you. Hi to Jackson. Wants to see you at Disney soon. Oh, yeah. No, we. I, I definitely will never forget. Like that was such a cute meeting. Right. That it was, was fun. It was super cute. Yeah. Um. Oh, Alexia says hi from Castleberry, local. Local. Yeah. Oh, no. Beyond Our Four Walls says, we watch every video. So just watch every video, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, I wish everybody would. I, I get it. It's a lot. It's a lot of content. But we definitely, um, I feel like, have done most of the experiences around oh, town. What? Jabroni's from Kuwait. Oh, really? That's interesting. I don't know why I thought you were from Brazil. Sorry. I totally mixed that up. I'm very, sorry. Very, very different places. Yeah. Uh, thank you to Jody. Oh, a hint on the baby moon. Well, we give you a hint in tomorrow's video. The big hints. Yeah. Oh no! Just found our ding dang shirt, which we forgot to bring on our recent trip to WDW. Ding dang! Oh no! No worries. We just want to say thank you for like supporting. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We really, really appreciate that. Oh. Uh, what's a baby moon? So a baby moon, I feel like it's kind of a new thing because a lot of people were kind of like, I've never heard of this. Yeah. But it's something that I just saw that other people were doing. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. And I feel like it's just a thing that you could say anything's yeah. a baby moon. So it's basically like your your last big trip before you give birth. Right. So it could be. Could be anything. It could be like a big girls weekend mm -hmm. or like a big shopping trip or yeah. even just like a picnic. Right, yeah. So for us, last year, not last year, last, uh, when we had the baby moon for Jackson, we went to Disneyland. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. It was a really great trip. And, um, oh, yeah, Ab Amy says, baby room, we still haven't gotten our furniture. I know. I need to call them tomorrow. Like, I don't know when it's coming. Well, now it's going to come after this trip. But real quick, Simon Gall says, a small goat never watches the weather. What? What does that mean? Was that, is that like, okay, you know, the winter soldier, uh -huh. you know, how he has like a thing that like triggers him into like his murderous rage. Oh yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Is that what I just did? Did I just set off somebody? Oh, like the Manchurian candidate yeah. thing? Yeah. I hope not. <laughs> oh no. A small goat never watches the weather. Um, where did you order what from? Matt says, where did you order it from? What? Where did you order it from? What did we order? Oh, our furniture. Oh, it was from, from a, a small like mom and pop business up in the Midwest somewhere. Yeah. But I feel like somebody else left a comment and said that they ordered from the same company and they had a similar issue. Well, so, but here's the thing. I contacted the shipping company and the shipping company is following it. And also like I was supposed to get a call from the shipping company Yeah. to schedule our delivery and they had they didn't call me so i need to call them right i'm just trying to be as proactive about this as possible so that we can actually get it in well, time i mean but we're not being proactive well i am <laughs> like they said they were going to call us on the first oh, wait here move in a little bit i just realized Sorry. you're not really in the shot okay they said that they were going to call us on the first mm -hmm. to schedule it and they didn't call me on the first and today's only the fourth 
I would have called them. On what, the second or the first? No, on the first. We were doing something on the first. Something was happening on the first. Oh, okay. I kept checking my phone. I would have been extra proactive because we spent a lot of money on this furniture. And I'm like, if it's not going to come, I need to know so that I can order from another company. Oh. Like, I need to, like, get my money back and order from somewhere else, you know? Hello? Hi, buddy. What you doing? Are you up from your nap? How was your nap? You still very tired? No. You want to try to go to the potty, bud? Yeah. You a little sweaty? Oh, because I put him, he was sleeping in our room and he was like under three blankets because we were snuggling, weren't we? You okay? No? You're okay. You want me to, you want to snuggle more? Yeah. Still tired? You can snuggle more, buddy. Oh. You want to try some lemonade? You want to try some lemonade? Lemonade, yeah. I don't think he's ready. He's like, now that he knows that there's lemonade there. <laughs> he's like, never mind. I'm not tired anymore. I just want lemonade. Uh, what happened in Anaheim? Somebody just said sad news out of Anaheim. Yeah, what happened? We haven't really been like plugged in much today because we've been running so many errands. Are you okay, bud? <laughs> Would you like to try to go use the potty now? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Just hugging? Oh, um, it's Sherry Babysitter. Are you going to try for a girl now or just the two boys going to be it? I think that we are probably done trying. So I think that this is going to be, I think we're just going to have two little boys. That's going to be us. Right, bud? Oh, no. Well, dang, oh, that, that is stinks. sad. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Oh no, that's sad. Well, oh. our heart goes out to the family and everybody affected. Yeah. Oh man. Ding ding. Well. It's okay, mom. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, bud. Um. Why did they do that? I don't know. I don't know, bud. Sometimes that happens. Grey Rose Adventures says, you've inspired us to document our Disney trips, What's, too. Why does it say no in the end? Where does it say no? Right on the end of that. The square? Yeah. That's what not square? a no. That's a cross, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's a cross. Um, Disney Stuff says, I can't believe Jackson is three. I know. Bud, how old are you? <laughs> so what? You're, what? How many? Sway. So Sway. So <laughs> Whoa, careful, careful. Um, okay, so I think you have... There's pink hats and pumpkins. And a pumpkin? Pumpkins? Where? Um, right there. Oh. oh. Oh, Tucker, Brandy said that Tucker said hi. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. Um, Hello. Basketball. A That's right. basketball. Any Marble Rush oh, update? Pizzas. Pizzas. Somebody said, uh, how do you like your marble run? What is it? Oh, flags. Yeah. How do you like your marble rush? Your mar yeah, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Will you? Can we try this with you, Dad? No, we can uh, do another do Lego yeah. downstairs, though. That one we can't do right now, buddy, okay? I can't play. Well, because you have your Legos, and then those are daddies. We don't want to... Mix them up, okay? I don't want to. Well, because I don't want to get... That one's a, a big kit, and we got yours downstairs, so we can go do one of yours downstairs. Yeah. But let's try this one first. <laughs> no, we'll try... Maybe <laughs> after we get back from our trip, we'll try that one um, together, okay? Good luck to Hannah. She has fin uh, finals week this week. And then... I want to do those. I know you, you do, buddy. Do those? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Did we miss them? Yeah, I think that's... Oh, no. I think we might have missed a couple of the things. Stickers. I'm sorry about that. Um, Kier, thank you. They say, you're amazing. And I'm going to say that you're amazing. And then... Is that it? That's all that I can see? Okay, and then... Oh, no. Did we miss... I'm sorry. Uh, thank, thank you, you to, to Amber. Amber. 
What is that? A dolphin? What is that? I don't know. Why is the point? Why? Um, oh, it was like a caution. It was like a caution sign. Yeah. Why did it say caution? Well, they were just um, they were saying They were trying to caution. say something important. Yeah. I don't know. I think that was it. Okay. Oh. Um, Here, bud. Can we try to go pee-pee? They are doing letters. There are letters. letters. Yeah. Um, Joseph said, asked if we have a P.O. box anymore. We don't have a public P.O. box anymore, unfortunately. But we definitely, uh, we appreciate the thought. So thank you so much. Oh, oh that's Jackson. a good question. Yeah. What's on your Christmas list? Oh, yeah. What do you want from Santa? <laughs> a present. What do you want to be in the presents? <laughs> Is there something that you want special for Christmas? Yeah. What? Like what? Can we Hold say on, one? Still. Well, I don't know what you want. You have to tell me what you want. Oh, uh, I, I want another marble run. No. You want another marble run? Yeah. <laughs> Is uh, that all you want? Yeah. You don't want anything else? Yeah. You don't want any Lego? Yeah. You yeah. do? Yeah. You've been loving your Lego, buddy. What about... Oh, somebody said... Do you remember how you used to say oatmeal wrong? Do you, you remember what you said? Old people. Old people. Can you, you say oatmeal now? Oatmeal bagel. Oatmeal, oatmeal bagel. bagel. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like the oatmeal bagel. I don't know. Oh, no, you're silly, buddy. Um, what do you want to be when you grow you up? Have... Oh, Ooh, I want to be a chef cooking some cookies. You want to be a chef cooking some cookies? Ooh, I like I that. I like that. That's yeah, fun. Yeah, we do love to cook. Yeah. Um. Okay, so Jilly <laughs> said, did I miss where you're going on your baby moon? No, we haven't said it. But in tomorrow's video, I feel like there's a pretty big hint. And then you should know soon. Are you getting a silhouette for Jackson's third year? Yes. We are. So I thought that we did it on his birthday. but then We do Tim, it like the week of Christmas. Yeah, Tim was saying that we do it like at the end of the year. But I thought it was on his birthday. I have. I got to go back. Oh, is Jackson still doing gymnastics? Are you still going to the gym? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Did you do a zip line last time? Yeah. Yeah, was it fun? You also did a big tumble. You did a big somersault. Oh, yeah. Are you still waking up? He's like reading everything. Well, reading. <laughs> reading. Not go to that big gym today. No, it's we not open today. We can't go today. We can only go on a... On, there's only a certain day that we can go on, bud. Because it's like a just, full competition gym. Yeah, that's just <laughs> the way it works. Oh. Oh, okay. So, um, Julia asked what you're getting in your advent calendars. So, what are you getting in your advent calendars, bud? Uh, like um uh you're getting legos and the like things like mickeys oh yeah like we get the, he has one that's like a funko pop he gets little baby, funkos baby. and then you have one that's like little stories and you get one that is um what do you want this one you get one that is oh crayola okay, okay here you go <laughs> Go on out there, buddy. Will you take him? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for telling us, buddy. Um, thank you, Hannah. Um, oh, crispy s'mores in here. Hi, you guys. They say Belle and Ollie say hi as well. <gasps> How are you guys? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Anna says, or Anna. Anna or Anna says, I turned 23 next week and I've been watching since I was 15. So we met somebody. Thank you, by the way. That's amazing. Um, we met somebody. We were at Disney Springs the other day, and we met somebody that was 23, and they had been watching since they were 11. I could not believe it. Um, oh, sorry. What was the bagel thing? I have and no oatmeal's idea. Oatmeal's on a bagel. You can eat oatmeal anytime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Riley's in Diagon Alley. Oh. 
Would you ever... Okay, so Holly says, would you ever consider coming to the UK to review our theme parks? Yes. Um, so we did. We actually did come to the UK. We tried to review oh, your theme yeah. parks. It was a while back. It was um, a, a long time ago, really. But we wanted to go during the cheapest time to fly. No, we were going near my birthday. No, we were trying to find the cheapest oh, okay. flights. Yeah, which just happened, happened to be, to be near your birthday. And we didn't realize that... Because we're like we did the same thing when we went to Tokyo, but we don't like to be spoiled like i don't want to know um you know like i want everything to kind of be a surprise right so i don't want to like watch videos on it i kind of want to see it all for myself for the first time and so we didn't really plan the trip very well to the theme parks and they were all closed for the winter <laughs> so we yeah. showed up and then they opened the next week they, they opened the week after we got back so this is what happens with floridians and this is also what happens with people visiting florida too so Florida is unique as far as weather goes. Yeah. We don't ever shut anything down as far as theme well, parks. Well, we water parks we do. I don't, but not, I mean, rarely. Like, yeah, for hurricanes and stuff, but yeah. like not and, for well, cold weather. No, they do shut them. They, they literally just shut them down last week for cold weather, remember? The water parks. Yeah. Yeah, but not the theme parks. No, right, yeah. So like you could still go into the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's like zero degrees outside, you're still going into Magic Kingdom. Right. Still riding roller coasters and stuff like that. But like in the UK, they close things down. We have a friend from Denver that visited us. You guys saw him in Adam's video, uh, Jim. Mm -hmm. He came down and from Denver, it was like nine degrees in Denver. And he came down and he's wearing like tank top and shorts. And it happened to be cold that day. Yeah. He's like, I had to buy a sweatshirt. And I was like, that's so funny because like a lot of people are like, oh, it's never cold. Right. And like I said, it hasn't dipped below 50. But we have talked to a lot of people who they get here and they're like, oh, I was cold. I did have to buy. So I just I think you don't realize how it's a different cold. It's, yeah, just it's different. Um, Jaden says, do you have any interest in coming to Colorado or visiting the Rocky Mountains? I would love to go to Colorado. Like Here's, all of the videos I've seen, it's really pretty. I can tell you this. What? I am not against visiting any place. Yeah, I would love to go just to see places I haven't seen. If there's a place that you're like, oh my gosh, this place is beautiful. I wonder if Tim and Jen would like to go there. Mm -hmm. Yes, 100%. I would love to go there. Oh, Adventures of Chris said, I'm at a concert in the UK and I'm missing my favorite YouTubers. What concert are you at? What concert is it? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mia. Thank you. Um... Have you ever been to Boston? No. No. I we, would like, yeah, I'd like to check it out just for like the history. I feel like we're not really uh, well traveled. In the U.S. Like. Well, I mean, even anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Recommend the Hap Wooden Marble Set for Jackson. Okay. Ooh, oh, yeah, we'll look it up. Thank you, Henry. Oh, I'd love to go to Historic <laughs> City. LaShonda. What's that? Where? comes to boston it's a beautiful historic city yeah i want to check it out i've seen so i watched a this is kind of silly but like i watched a food tour on the food network of boston mm -hmm. and um it looked amazing just for the food yeah yeah so i'd like to go i want to see i want to see everything okay so a lot of people in this live show are asking about jackson's annual pass mm -hmm. and i know that this is kind of like a a thing that it might be a little bit like i don't know how to put it but like we have a video that we made about it, so I don't want to like answer it here. You know tomorrow, what I mean? Well, tomorrow's video is the video that where we where we talk more about it. Um, so watch tomorrow. Yeah, and, I like uh, how you almost had. You're like, what do we just carve it's a boy? <laughs> well, I mean, I think they know. Like, we got him a pass because yeah. I said it earlier in the video. I said we got him one. Right. But we talk more about the process in tomorrow's video. Uh, want to say thank you to Matt T. Is it Matea? Matea? Matty. Maybe it is Matty. Matty Trusty? Yeah. Uh, somebody else said something that I thought, oh, people are asking us about Taylor Swift. Oh, so we, we did listen to her album on the way to when we went to Disney Springs. Yeah. And um, I like I like the style. I like that it's like a different, um, I don't know, it feels more like upbeat almost. Right. Like less. The thing that I, and I, I think people are going to get mad at me, but the thing that I didn't love about folklore, because we did listen to it a little bit, it was very like, it was very down. 
Yeah. Like it made it was kind of like depressing. Right. And I don't really love depressing music. At this point in our lives. Yeah, I like to I don't I don't want to cry. I just want to have like Here's the it thing. It can be a sad song as long as it has like a happy beat. Does that right. make sense? Right. So I feel like this new album is kind of that way. I lived my life in my early 20s in a phase. Oh yeah, we were like listening to emo music and yeah, like, so like you know dashboard and like yeah, uh, Jets to Brazil. What's the guy? What's the, Modest Mouse? Oh, like the Decemberists and uh, yeah. who's the guy though? I'm thinking of the one. The A postal dashboard? service. No, oh, the post. The one. Who, uh, ben. Yeah, but what's his other one? Death Cab. Death Cab. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So it's just like, give me happy music. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Spice Girls. Yeah. <laughs> um, who wha- was your Who was your top artist on uh, Spotify? All right, I have a thing that I think that Spotify is incorrect. I think that they are specifically promoting people for their for your your top artists and stuff like that. Because do you think? Yeah, can you guys see this? You probably can't. Okay, I'll read them out. <laughs> Number one song, as it was, Harry Styles. Mm-hmm. Number two song, Grape Juice, Harry Styles. Number three, Late Night Talking, Harry Styles. Number four, Family Madrigal from the Encanto soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Love it. Number five, Fraggle Rock theme song. I don't remember explicitly listening to the Fraggle Rock theme song a lot. Like a bunch, yeah. But apparently it's my number five. And then huh. also, I do explicitly remember listening to Humpty Dumpty 700 times. I, I think that they take out like some of the kid stuff and they realize that maybe that's not like your your top artists, you know? I was in the top 4% of Harry Styles listeners this year. Heck yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just funny to me. Oh, thank you, Tim. The top 4%. Right? Yeah. People are like Harry's, right? Yeah. I think you're a Harry. You just, you just like proved that you're a Harry. Okay. Um, Thank you, Nellish. But at the same time, I only listened to Harry Styles for 527 minutes this year. That's kind of a lot. Thank you, Christine and Casper. Thank you both. Um, is Carly, that a lot? Carly said that Fraggle Rock is very on brand for you. Okay, we have top artists here were Harry Styles, Andrew Garfield from the Tick Tick Boom soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love it. Uh, Hot Water Music, Nirvana, and Beach Bunny. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you're nobody unless you're in the top 1.01%. Point, point okay, so it's yeah. like TikTok. Oh, no. Christine said, I spent all night in vet emergency. Being here brings a smile to this mama's face. I'm so oh. sorry. I know. I like everything's okay. Back when we had um, Armani and Bandit, we had a few times like that. And it's very nerve wracking. I think especially because they can't talk. Right. And I feel like if you don't have a good vet, like they, not everybody takes the same care like that you would, you know? Right. Right. So it's a very, it's a nerve wracking experience. So I hope that everything ends up okay. And I hope that you're okay. Okay. So a lot of people are saying like they were in the top 1% of Harry Styles. Hannah was in the top 0.1% of Mac Miller. Oh, Nick Point- said you're a band of horses kind of guy. May want to check it out. I think band of horses is too slow. Too slow. Like it's too sad for me. Maybe like a few years ago I would have been, but like definitely too sad for me. I have to say, uh, there are very few female singers that I enjoy listening to, really? which is, I don't know that I like that about myself, but it's true. Right. Like, and Band of Horses is like, they're, I know there's not female. There's one female and one male, isn't there? No, it's a, it, they sing the, no, it's guys. It's all guys? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Who are you talking about? I thought I was talking about Band of Horses. Are you talking about the Wild Horses song? No. I thought it, that, that was uh, Wild Horses. The Sundays. Is, the Sundays. Wild horses? Yeah. Wild, wild That's the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Couldn't drag me away. Yeah, but the, the the one that like was famous for our generation was the Sundays. Okay. Right? Is who, that the name of them? Who am I? What a band of horses. What song did they sing? They sing a sad song that was on a an OC soundtrack that I have. Band of horses sang yeah. the funeral. Yeah, it's just sad. Like it's good, but it's like I don't want to cry. <laughs> like, Trying to get Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think I... Yeah. I wonder what I was thinking of then. Mm. Forget what I said. Okay. Already forgotten. Okay. (laughs) Um, 
We should listen to Group Love. We yeah, do like Group we do. Love. They're good. Yeah. They're fun. I like them. Alabama Shakes. I do like some of the Alabama Shakes songs. Yeah. Uh, my Fajitas. <laughs> my Fajitas. Um, oh no, Riley said, got stuck in Haggard's today after the track falls. Thought we were going to get smushed, so we all got to go again immediately. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh. St. Vincent. I like St. Vincent. I like that okay. song that they have. Arcade Fire. What did Arcade Fire sing? Oh, okay. So Amy said, what's my Spotify? I, we, only, we only use one account, which is why Beach Bunny is on his, because that's what I listen to. Um... Wait, what Arcade, are, I don't know. They, I don't love them. Okay. Like I've, I, I feel like because we heard them live on some TV show and it just sounded awful. I feel like there's an Sorry. Arcade Fire song that I like. How do you spell arcade? Okay, here we yeah. go. <laughs> I was like, uh, like this. Oh no, Bree says, "How are you surviving Florida's very harsh winter?" It's, you know, it's tough, but we're doing, we're doing <laughs> we're good, great. But we're doing it. Um, hmm. Oh, Tim looks like a Hall & Oates fan. Yeah, Hall & Oates. You know what? Today we were in Target and they were playing just like all Prince songs. They're I forgot. They're all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But it was <laughs> a lot of Prince like back to back to back. And um, I forgot like how good Prince is. Like his songs are just so like... I don't know. They're good. Does anybody else's Target play like absolute bangers? <laughs> like, what did they play when I was coming out of the bathroom? They played Survivor. Oh yeah, they were playing Beyond uh, Destiny's Child. And then they also played. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, they played a Marshmallow and Khalid song. Mm. And I was like, well, look at this. What are we doing here? <laughs> um. I feel like Billie Eilish is another one. Sarah asked if you like Billie Eilish. She's another one that like is is too sad because she is so young. I feel like she's going through that like very emotional, like teenage angsty kind of years. Right. And it's too like, I think I'm just too old for that. I will say I love she's, Four Town though. Oh yeah. Shout out Four Town. And she's also, I, I feel like she, she's too quiet of a singer for me. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. But she's like amazing. Like I, I think like what she's doing is great, but I just think that it's too, I need more energy almost. Does that right. make sense? I don't know. I want to say thank you to Valerie. Oh yeah. Thank you. She says, keep it up. What's uh, what's Billie Eilish's brother's name? Phineas. Phineas. I yeah. almost said Fergie. Fergie. Could be. What was, it? who was the, was it on Clarissa? Clarissa explains it all. Her brother's name was Ferguson. Yeah. Okay. It was. I did like Panic at the Disco, yeah. Yeah. Um, Thoughts on One Direction? Love them. What was that? Love One Direction. In sync for life. You know who I like a lot is um, I like Shawn Mendes. Okay. I think his songs are really good and yeah. like upbeat. Um, I think the Jonas Brothers, like their new stuff. Haven't heard any of it. I'll give it, it a is. listen to. <laughs> or maybe it's maybe it's just the uh, Nick Jonas one. Oh, that's a good question. Is Childish Gambino still in the rotation? Yes, but oh, yeah. he wasn't in my top. So I think that, like I said, a lot of my stuff right now is all Jackson music. Mm -hmm. So like it's kind of like all like for instance, my in my top five, mm -hmm. Hot Water Music was in there, but I haven't listened to them since the summer. Oh yeah. So. Um, I don't listen to the 1975, but I feel like from everything that I've heard, I would like them. Oh, The Weeknd. Yeah, The Weeknd. The Weeknd just tweeted out uh, a tweet for Avatar 2. Yeah. Like maybe he's going to be doing the song for it or something, like the closing mm. credits song. We'll see. Oh, my gosh. Holly the said, I'm 20 on Sunday and I've been watching since I was nine. So 11 years. That's oh amazing. My. Do you um, still like Jimmy Buffett? Yeah. yeah. I go through phases, though. Like, I couldn't do a lot of Jimmy Buffett right now. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, Kim said, thoughts on Rock and Roller Coaster. Wondering why hardly no videos or talks about it. I think because it's... It's um, it's one of the few rides that they are a little bit more strict about you having your camera out on. Well, but it's also... It's not a new ride. Not a new ride. And it's also consistently a long wait. 
Yeah. No matter if you're in single rider, it's just as long as the regular line mm -hmm. and fast passes or lightning lanes are hard to get. It's a good ride though. Yeah, it's I, good. Yeah, I do enjoy it. Like it is great. It does need some oh, work. Oh no, Ashley said Jimmy Allen's gonna be not happy that he didn't make your top five. Oh. We hear, so the funny thing is, is that everywhere we go is playing Jimmy Allen. Right. Like literally everywhere we're like, is that Jimmy? That's Jimmy. Like everywhere that we go is playing Jimmy Allen songs. Right. Which is awesome. I think that's so cool. Yeah. So he's everywhere. He's like on TV. He's lighting the Christmas tree in Rocka Center, Rockefeller Center. Rocka Center. Sorry. He's like doing everything. Right. Which is um, amazing. That's awesome. Right now he's back home uh, and he's doing like charity charity shows right now. Oh, yeah. For yeah. like his middle school and stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Cool. I love he's that. He's doing a, a bowling tournament too. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that yeah. on Twitter. Oh, he's on tour with Carrie Underwood. Yeah, it's called it's called Denim and Rhinestones or I something saw that. like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, hey, from Winter Park. Ooh, we like Winter Park. Oh yeah, Winter another another local. Oh, are you yawning on our? Sorry. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Um, I forgot to mention that on our last live show. So we did a live show on Tuesday on Jackson's birthday for Giving Tuesday, and we were able to. You guys, we were able to raise eighty one hundred dollars before. It doubled. Before it doubled? Yeah. This was just how much we raised during that fundraiser. Oh, but I think dur the amount that we raised that was doubled, I think, was 7000 Right. So then they had a um, they had a, a donor. Give Kids the World had a donor that was uh, matching up to $100,000. So hopefully matching ours... Matching donations, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully ours was in there. Um, but that's amazing, right? Like, that was awesome. Yeah. How about Kelly Clarkson? I have deep respect for Kelly Clarkson because she is one heck of a singer. Well, and she's just like a really good. Uh, TV, she seems like, like a fun, a fun person. Yeah, like she's a really good TV show host. I feel like people really open up to her, um, and I like I like her like as per, like a, as a person. Yeah, she seems like a really good person. Let's um, meet her. Yeah, I wish bring we her could. in. Yeah, <laughs> I wish we could. Uh, oh wait! Oh, oh! Somebody said Matt. Matt said White White uh, Lotus season two. I am. Oh. I can't wait to see these next two episodes. I They're need to in, know. In like, Italy, they are in Sicily. Sicily. Yeah, but it's like really getting real wild, and yeah. I want. I want to know what's happening. Like, are they getting scammed? The two ladies are they getting scammed? I think they are. Um, and then who's the who died? Who died? Yeah, I need to know. Who done it? Yeah. Uh, they said, if you could be friends with any celebrity, who would they be? BFFs. Any celebrity? Yeah, I don't know enough about celebrities. Like, I don't know anybody's personality. Hmm. I mean, I think that I would... Any celebrity? Wow, that's a, that's a hard one. I'd like to be friends with... I've been listening to uh, Armchair Expert a lot, so I'd be friends with Dak Shepard, I feel like. Okay. But he's not my... I don't. I think that I could talk to him, but I don't know if I would like be fast friends with him. Okay. I think that I could hold a conversation with him easily. Okay. But I don't think. I don't know. Um. Oh, have you watched Andor? Yes, Andor's season finale was awesome. Ooh, did you see the boys' spinoff show trailer? Tim did. I didn't. Yeah. For Gen V. Yeah. Great name too. <laughs> oh, somebody said you would be friends with Ryan Gosling. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. He seems like he'd be pretty fun. Jason Bateman has too dry of a sense of humor for me. I feel like mm. I used to do this all the time when I was younger is like be like mean to your friends. I think that, yeah, I think that's just like a, a young. Yeah. But I feel like Jason Bateman's just like mean to his friends. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, Would you be friends with Lady Gaga? I feel like I she's too cool for me. Like I wouldn't be able to like I'm not cool enough to be friends with her, <laughs> you know? Stamos. I don't know. I think I'm too nervous to be friends with a celebrity. Right? <laughs> I don't think I'd I don't, be very good at it. I don't know a lot of their personalities, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said that they think we'd be friends with The Rock. Oh. Hugh Jackman is a truly incredible person. Bob Iger. <laughs> oh, people are saying, wait, Chris says, anyone else, no video. Is the video working? 
We did it. Oh, man. Um, what time is it now? 3.55. All right. Yes. I think so, we do need to. Yeah, Tim has to go somewhere tonight um, for a fun, like, Christmas thing. Oh, I can say where we're going. Oh, can you? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to Sir Henry's Trail. Did you just burp? No. Oh, I just, you did, right? I just smelled your chicken sandwich or your <laughs> yeah, chicken tenders. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so Sir Henry's is doing a Christmas haunt. And they're not open yet. They open next weekend. And they're only open for, right, two weekends. Mm-hmm. But it's a Christmas haunt. I feel should like. should be pretty fun. Did sorry, you just yawn? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I can smell your <laughs> yawn from over here. Everybody, um, not everybody. Some people are saying that they would pick us to be friends with. And that is, like, so nice. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're boring. but um, It's true. Yeah. I think that's that's really a nice compliment that they would pick us. Hopefully we would be an exciting friend to have. Probably not. <laughs> um, oh, no. Oh, we haven't. The Give Kids the World did open up the lights at H2O Live. Mm-hmm. We haven't been yet. We have tickets for Christmas week. Yeah. Um, but I want to go before then, too. I would like to go before then as well. But we just kind of have this thing where we go on Christmas, like, closer to Christmas. And it's just kind of like a thing that we've been doing so um but before yeah i would love to go in beforehand yeah pretty all right yeah oh you guys are so sweet you're all saying that you we you feel like we're friends and i feel like we're friends too i think that's something that's like i know parasocial relationships on the internet are like a tricky thing to talk about but i do feel like there are people that i see every week at the um, like in our live shows or like people that comment uh, in the videos or people that comment on like our you know Instagrams and I, I I do feel like a connection with you guys which I think is really cool because you are here so often you know what I mean like right I don't know I, I think that it is really neat to have that connection um, even though I know that it's like a virtual connection like I get that but I I think that's one of my favorite things about having the channel. Oh, the wandering panda says, could you be friends with a robot? Yeah, why not? Like that robot like, from like Melissa? Data. Is that what that show is? That movie? Oh, Megan? Megan? No, I don't want to be. Fr- That's a killer robot. Yeah. I want to be. She's a killer queen. <laughs> um, oh, no. People are saying, is Jackson still on the potty? No, he's with B right now. Sorry. Um, oh, thank you to Brad. Yeah, thank you. Um, yesterday's videos. I love the themed vacation homes. Thank you. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. I, I just really like that company specifically. I feel like the work that they put into the houses, like you can really tell that it's, um, I don't know. It's just like the, the work is so, like they're so talented. The work that they put in it, it looks like yeah, great quality, like theme park quality. Right. So I love that. I love the amount of work that they put in. Uh, did you go to Hamilton when it was in Orlando at the Dr. Phillips Center? We did. We didn't talk about it. We said we were going to talk about it in a show, in a, in a home vlog. And we never did. We never did. Maybe we'll talk about it because we got we some cool merch. Did We loved it. We cried. We laughed. We it was amazing. We ate peanuts. <laughs> we, I didn't. I ate a cookie, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Spirited Voyager said they just got married on Friday. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations. Who'd you get married to? Yeah. What? <laughs> Um, Kelly wants to know if Jackson has met the Grinch yet, and he has not met the Grinch. He saw the Grinch at ice, like he saw an ice sculpture version of the Grinch. Yeah. But he hasn't met the actual Grinch. So we tried to get tickets to the Grinch breakfast at Universal, and it's completely sold out. Right. It's like you cannot get in. Uh, so um, we missed that. Why, why do people want to meet the Grinch? What do you mean? He's a mean one. Well, because he's like, he's like a fun guy to meet. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't touch him with a 39 and a half foot pole. (laughs) Um, Carly said that every time they eat a chocolate chip cookie, they dedicate it to you. I did eat a chocolate chip cookie today, and it is National Cookie Day. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Shout out to Starbucks for having chocolate chip cookies. It was delicious. Oh, Joanne Loves Disney said no cameras or phones on Space Mountain anymore. Why not? Probably because people were losing them. Okay. And it's too much of a pain to like, well, also it's dangerous. That's true. I wonder if Disney is going to update their camera policy. 
So I've been told on um, on Thunder Mountain mm -hmm. not to have my camera out. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I feel like that they, they're they updating it. Yeah. Because like Universal, you can't film on any rides there. So a lot of people I've seen will use Universal's footage of the rides mm -hmm. or like f footage from the before times when you could film. Like we have footage. There's never a before times. You could never film on the rides. Yeah, you could. No, we brought the sunglasses on. No, no, no. You, we filmed with a GoPro. I mean, I'm talking like 2009. Like, oh yeah. Like way, 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 way back when. Okay. Before they, before they had the rule. Right. Yeah. Um, but they did update their ET policy. You can film on ET now. Well, that was that that was a while ago because that was back when Jackson was tall enough to ride the ride. I know, but that's you interesting. And that's the only ride you're allowed to film on at Universal. Yeah, so it makes it tough to have a like a a day where you ride rides because you're just like, okay, I'm getting on the ride. Okay, I got off the ride. You know, you're uh, not you're not showing anything. But I have noticed that other vloggers will use universal's footage of the rides angela says they say no camera on guardians too oh, are you really? talking about when terry cruz comes on and says put away your personal device and he flexes his his mean face i don't know this is my so, mean face jay brown is saying why can't you film on the rides with universal they just have it's just a rule you just can't film on the rides they just don't allow it right um Oh, Amber said, how's baby's progress? The baby is moving so much. Yeah. Like, this baby is so active. It's wild. It feels good to know that the baby's moved, like, that I can actually feel the baby moving because I know that sometimes that's an issue in people's pregnancies where they, the baby doesn't move as much and then it's kind of, like, worrisome. But um, he's moving. He's, like, he's running a marathon in there. <laughs> uh... Um, oh, Alex said, what's your thoughts on Genie Plus dropping in price? So it is a variable price. I yeah. think that when everybody was freaking out about the price going up, I think that that was Thanksgiving week. And that's why the price went up. Right. So I think that people... It's going to go up again, I'm sure. Right. For Christmas week. For Christmas. But I think that people um, like have this, this like, I don't know what the word is. Like they get mad before they realize what's happening. Do you know what I mean? Right. So like, they're like, the price went up. Like, this is outrageous. This is ridiculous. But it's a variable price. So you're looking at it at its peak pricing. Right. You know? Um, so then people are like, the price went down. Do you think it's going to keep going down? Well, I think it will be down on days. Down, go down to $15 at right. some point and then back up to $30. That are, right. It'll go down on days that are not peak holiday pricing. Yeah. So I think that that's what's happening. Uh, real quick. Somebody, where did I see it? It was, oh, Allie N says, are you going to do the Universal Escape? They previewed it yesterday. Mm. So I was at Universal yesterday mm -hmm. and I saw all the team members going in and Ooh. I kept going over and being like, hey guys, how's it going? You guys going to let anybody else in? They're like, no, we're just doing team members today. And I was like, I'll just check back later. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, Haha, good luck with that. They didn't say that. That yeah. was the, the vibe that I got. Um. So really, sorry, Carrie said, why does YouTube not allow you to post copyrighted music, but no rule about copyrighted images? So the thing about the music, um, I know with fair use, you can post images like if you're using it for commentary purposes. You, you can also po post music if you're using it for commentary purposes. No, you can't. You can't. No, it has to be under three seconds, I think. Or under four seconds. Okay. That's why when we use music, it's I have to chop it up. Like I have to edit the music. Okay. Um, but the same thing with the uh, the screens. Like I wouldn't show a full show on a screen. I would edit that show. Um, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's. I don't know. YouTube. It, it's just kind of like the rule. Just what is what it is. Right. But wait, what were the team members saying? They're saying it was good. Yeah, well, I mean, they're not going to tell you it's bad. But also, <laughs> when we, so we were uh, kind of, I, I showed it in the video, and there's a big sign, like a big poster up on the wall that's like showing that it's Jurassic World. If, in case you guys don't know, Universal Escape is an escape room at Universal. Two different uh, themes. One is Jurassic World. One is Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. uh, they are variable escape rooms, which is interesting. So they can change the difficulty level based on your ability. They well, can change the ending. What if you're in the room? So you can go in as a private group or you can go in with like a group of people you don't know. So do you all have to decide like we want 
medium level? No, I think there's multiple experiences and there's a person in the room with you saying like, oh, you quick, go over and do this. Oh. And then the kids go over and do a kid thing. Okay. And then the adults are over here doing an adult thing. Huh. And then the ending can change, so you might get a different ending. Okay. Um, well, I don't think people in the same room are going to get a different ending. No, I mean the next time you come. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like re re replayable. Yeah. Um, but when we were there at that sign, if I turned to my left, there was a break in the... Uh, is he moving around? Yeah, he's like, sorry, he was kicking me. <laughs> like In right, your bladder? Right in my bladder, yeah. Um, there was a break in the, the shrubbery that they have around the doors, and the door mm-hmm. was open, so I could see into the door. Oh. And I could see they had full costume of what's his name owen brady oh yeah the what's yeah chris the, pratt's the character it's like Get yeah back blue and then there was a sign that says we are in technical rehearsal today mm-hmm. so but that wasn't out front okay so, so i'm assuming open it. there will be technical rehearsal for the public before which moves it yeah before the opening yeah yeah thank you alexia oh hot dog <laughs> oh a hot dog um Ginny said you should take Jackson to Volcano Bay now that the crowds have died down. Have so, the crowds have the crowds died down? I want to take him. Um, it's just we have to wait until this season is just so hard for us because a we're pregnant, so there's just been a lot going on with the pregnancy. B we had um, a few trips kind of back to back, so that made it hard. And then um, the holidays, just in general, like so we I don't know that we're going to be able to do it before the end of the year, but I would like to. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we do, because I got to go. Oh, right now? Yeah, pretty oh, soon. Okay. All right, yeah. So Tim's going to go to the Christmas haunt. I'm going to go to a Christmas haunt. I'm going to hang out with Jackson, and we're going to eat ho- dinner. hopefully try to pack a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Well, um, if you had to pick fantasy or wish, fantasy. I think I would pick the fantasy, yeah. Oh, would you ever do a Disney Alaskan cruise? Yes. That's my, like, bucket list. I That's the next one I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Oh, do you like Billy Joel's music? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, thank you guys for coming to the live show. Yeah. So we will have a. This is the vlog for today, but we will have a home vlog slash, uh, kind of like a around town vlog tomorrow, where we talk more about Jackson's annual pass. Yeah. But we also do some other stuff like we're yeah. just getting you know getting stuff ready for our trip so seen a few questions in here about a new car we don't have a new car yet no uh, but it's hopefully we will we'll be getting the um the rivian is like what we're hoping yeah so we'll see at some point we shall see <laughs> we'll keep you updated so thank you guys yeah and enjoy the evening yeah thanks for hanging out with us we appreciate it yeah uh, bye everybody bye everybody